Detecting and mitigating a multi-vector DDoS attack using Arbor Sightline, Sentinel, TMS, and Sightline signaling. Before we begin, let's take a look at a diagram. This depicts a multi-vector DDoS attack. The attack originates from the internet and targets our business critical services as well as our customers, seriously impacting the performance and availability of both. The attack is detected by Sightline, and we will utilize a combination of Sightline with Sentinel for BGP flow spec and TMS for mitigation. For simple attacks such as UDP reflection amplification, BGP flow spec is the preferred way of mitigation, causing attack traffic to be dropped at the peering edges seen here. TMS is used for other more specific attacks, requiring surgical mitigation. Blocking traffic at the peering edge prevents it from transiting the network and reduces unnecessary load on TMS. This combination of BGP flow spec at the edge and a more centralized TMS provides effective and efficient mitigation of multi-vector attacks. Lastly, here's a diagram showing a multi-vector DDoS attack coming from two separate providers. Sightline detects the attack and begins mitigation using a combination of TMS and BGP flow spec, as shown earlier. However, there is a third option we can also use to aid in our mitigation. Sightline signaling allows attack information to be sent from one Sightline environment to another, shown here as an upstream provider. Using Sightline signaling, we can inform our provider of this attack, at which time they can provide mitigation and prevent this attack traffic from ever entering our environment. Let's take a look at this attack within Sightline. On the main Sightline page, we can see general traffic statistics and attack alerts. We can use this page to briefly look at peacetime traffic versus traffic spikes, as well as get a quick summary of open alerts and attacks. There is an ongoing alert in the alert listing section. We can already see that Sightline has identified the traffic misuse as SSDP amplification and TCP SYN. We'll start by opening the alert ID in a new tab to dig deeper. The alert ID link opens the alert summary tab. On this page, we can examine the alert data to qualify the traffic as anomalous or malicious. Let's take a closer look. On the summary tab, take note of the following. In the key information section, general high-level data about the alert. This section helps us to quickly understand the alert and answer the questions. What kind of attack is it? How big is it? Where is it targeted? Is it incoming or outgoing traffic? Further down in the mitigation section, we can see any mitigations that are in use. In our case, we can see that TMS and flow spec auto mitigations have already started. Sightline detected anomalous traffic that breach set thresholds and automatically block the traffic. We can click the plus button to drop down for more information for each mitigation. Within the drop traffic section, we can see a graphical representation of how the attack is being blocked. In this case, TNS is working together with FlowSpec to dissect the attack and mitigate the threat. It appears that SSDP comprises most of the attack. For security reasons, it may be helpful to understand how TMS is blocking the attack. We will take a closer look at the countermeasure in use to verify that auto mitigation is working as expected and not over mitigating. We'll click on the TMS auto mitigation link in the drop down section. The link opens the TMS mitigation screen. We can already see the auto mitigation countermeasures are mitigating the attack. Zombie detection and TCP SYN authentication are actively dropping traffic. By going back to the main alert page, we can view the flow spec details tab to verify attack details and drop traffic. This page gives us additional information regarding the flow spec auto mitigation. It's important to understand what flow spec is mitigating and how much traffic is being dropped. Take note of the following. Traffic is being dropped by flow spec. How much traffic has been dropped by the flow spec mitigation? How many destination IPs are part of the auto mitigation and source and destination ports involved in the auto mitigation? Lastly, we can request mitigation directly from our upstream provider using sightline signaling. To do this, we simply click on Mitigate Alert and then Sightline Signaling. We select the Mitigation Provider peer, enter a message outlining our attack and request for mitigation, and then click Send Request. The request will appear at the upstream provider, Sightline, at which point they can initiate a mitigation on our behalf. Thanks for watching this short demonstration of how NetScout's Arbor Sightline, Sightline with Sentinel and TMS can be used to not only detect a DDoS attack, but intelligently orchestrate mitigation using multiple mitigation methods.
For over 20 years, the majority of the world's ISPs and large enterprises have relied upon NetScout's Arbor DDoS protection products and global DDoS threat intelligence to protect the availability of their networks and services.